Hello everyone. Today I'm going to present you my digital design project. My name is Berkay Yazıcıoğlu and this is my project LED cube. Uh, in this project I constructed a LED cube like that and uh, the re the constructing design is that uh, the in the layers, the horizontal layers on the cathode legs are uh, connected and the vertical in the vertical layers only the anode le on anode legs are uh, connected therefore if i want to uh, light this one this led i will grant this layer and uh, 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 put this layer into vcc therefore uh, lighting this led uh, in order to uh, control all of the leds i use 20 inputs in, uh, and then uh, if i wanted to uh, Right, light this LED. I should not be. I I shouldn't be able to uh, light this one and this one, because in that case, the, the both one both ones will be lighted, and uh, that would be uh, desirable. Therefore, I create patterns like that. So it changes its state, and if I wanted to look like these two ones are lighting together. I will just increase the clock. This clock is one hertz, and this is a testing pattern. And uh, this is two 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 hundred hertz, and uh, they all look like they are lighting at the same time, but actually they're not. So this is my main reason behind my the main logic behind my project. So I will just show you the uh, patterns and modules. These two were uh, the test modules, and uh, another test module is that the frequency increases automatically as you can see so i can hold a value and uh, that value gets set statically uh, so this uh, clock th this pattern is 16 hertz now if i want to Okay, it increases uh, at speed of half a second, but after it reaches 50 Hz, it will increase uh, more rapidly. As you can see, the change isn't even noticeable right now. Okay. Okay, these are the these were the demonstrations of my testing modules. Uh, therefore, that the a finished state machine is changed between these layers and the, the these layers are uh, changing into uh, 200 hertz uh, therefore they look like they are lighting at the same time so i i use that 200 hertz uh, finished state machine all of in all of my uh, patterns and uh, just change the uh, row inputs and uh, like uh, even though they cha the layers change in 200 hertz, uh, the output of the LEDs, the lighting LEDs, look like they change at the different speeds because I change the row things the uh, in the wanted clock divider frequency. So just another demonstration would be that this rain pattern. I call it rain pattern because it looks like raining. So in this one too, uh, I change the pattern inputs at uh, 5.5 Hz, but still they run at 200 Hz as well too. And uh, the randomness is the done by linear feedback shift register. Yeah, this is like that. Another pattern is that I implemented this using different methods than the rain pattern. I actually read only I use read only memory here. It's just a demonstration of how to use a read only memory. Okay, I actually have a, a cursor here. So in this mode, uh, in the in the in the previous modes that uh, the patterns were preset and uh, you just see the pattern when you press the switch. But in this set, uh, you can make a pattern. As well as where I as you want, uh, I use a, a tenable rem here, and uh, when you this cursor is located by the push buttons, 
So if I wanted to set a pattern, I will just click on the uh, center button like that. So it puts into the memory that the uh, setting pattern and the setting order is important. Program does it for me. Oops. Okay, it will not be much longer, just for the demonstration. Alright, I think this is enough to demonstrate. So, and after setting the pattern order, uh, so I can set and unset. Uh, and I, I, uh, in this mode, I will uh, select the frequency of this uh, pattern that I created right now. So uh, the left uh, up and down buttons increase the frequency, as you can see. It is 7 Hz right now. Um, and the left button just uh, changes the index of the change of the frequency. Like it's 70. <coughs> I'm sorry. It's 17 Hz right now, and it increases 10 by 10 because I pushed the left button. Now it increases uh, 100 to 100. And on, to undo that, only uh, pushing the right push button is enough. <coughs> Sorry again. So, <coughs> if I want to. Uh, reverse the uh, put just begin the uh, pattern at, at the time I want. I just push the center button in this mode. It just begins again, but it doesn't change anything. But if I want to reset that, there's a reset button here. So reset button resets the pattern you have set. So uh, the final thing I have done with my project is uh, a little game. So it says play here, so there are uh, enemies coming up to you, <coughs> and uh, you just rotate the player here and you shoot them. You should not let the enemies come close to the layer that you are in, so if it happens there is a lose message, and uh, to play again you have to open <coughs> so this was my uh, digital project everyone i hope you liked it uh, the thing is this looks easy but uh, the fact that you have to use finished state machines and the uh, many shift registers and uh, many clock dividers to make it happen and work sy uh, synchronously uh, was a real uh, thing to deal with so thank you all for watching.